America's armed forces, by far the largest in the world, are also the world's largest consumer of energy. To fly these planes, to power our ships, to support our service men and women, it takes more than 300,000 barrels of oil per day. Our military leaders see this as a serious vulnerability. Nearly 80% of our supply convoys in Afghanistan are for transporting fuel, and they repeatedly come under attack. The huge demand for electricity generation also weighs down our fighting forces. And the rising cost of energy puts a major strain on military budgets. That's why the Department of Defense has set as a top priority energy conservation and innovation. Our nation as a whole is striving to lessen its dependence on imported oil. DOD is part of that effort, a very important part. They have set as a goal by the year 2025 to have 25% of their total need for energy from renewable sources. The Air Force aims to obtain half of its aviation fuel from domestically produced alternative sources by 2016. In fact, many planes are already flying on biofuels. It's absolutely fabulous. You, you cannot tell there's biofuel in the airplane, and I mean that. The U.S. Navy is creating a great green fleet, a strike group powered entirely by alternative fuels. And the Army has launched a net zero initiative involving solar, wind, and other clean power generation, with the goal of having its installations produce as much energy as they consume. All this clean energy innovation is not only making our military more efficient and effective, but it also has enormous benefits for the civilian world. Just as the whole country benefited from military development of the jet plane, the internet, GPS, and many other game-changing technologies. The Department of Defense has enormous needs not just in weaponry, but in transportation, in heating, in lighting, and so forth. And so when they change to a new way of doing things, it can have a huge impact. From the barracks to the battlefield, our militaries drive for greater efficiency and for cleaner, cheaper, domestically produced energy is pointing the way for the rest of America. This is a competition we as an industrial nation have with the rest of the industrial nations of the world. But those nations, they have strong policies internally about energy. We're still in need of that strong policy. The sooner we get it, the sooner we can compete with the rest of the world. To learn more about energy innovation in the Defense Department, see the new report by the Pew Charitable Trusts at pewtrusts.org slash energy security.